In this lesson, we'll see how to use BigIQ in the Application Services 3 extension, or AS3, to deploy application services into two different data centers. We'll begin by downloading AS3 templates from a Git repository that is maintained and constantly updated by F5. See the description field beneath this video player for the URL of this repository. Use the instructions here to download these templates to your BigIQ system. For example, you can execute a script in SSH to download and import the templates. Or use the Postman interface to import templates directly to your BigIQ. If you are assigned into a GitHub account, you also have the capability to submit your own templates to F5, which will be reviewed and possibly added to the template list for others to use. For our example, let's start with an existing AS3 template. If a template is published, you will be unable to edit it until it is unpublished. F5 recommends that you don't try to edit one of the default templates, but instead clone an existing AS3 template and customize it. Clicking Override hides this field from the application owner. Editable means the field is visible to the application owner. We want the application owner to use this field, so we'll leave it empty and in its default setting of Editable. Classes are highly customizable. Details about each class are available in the help file. For our example, we'll change the load balancing method to least connections member. Save your edits, then click Publish and Close to make this template available for creating application services. Let's make this AS3 template available for Paula, our application owner. Scroll down past the Service Catalog templates to the AS3 templates and locate the template we just published. Now that Paula can use our new AS3 template, we'll log in as Paula and create an application service. Here's our newly cloned template. For our example, we're deploying application services into two data centers on opposite ends of the country. For this first application service, Paula selects the Boston Big IP as her target. An AS3 tenant is a collection of AS3 application services and becomes a partition on the Big IP system. We'll leave Analytics Profile in its default settings, then enter Pool information. Because we have two application servers, we'll add another address. After defining our virtual server, scroll to the Certificate section. Before entering your certificate and private key information, make sure that your key does not include any escape characters such as backslashes. We're utilizing a WAF policy that uses OWASP recommended minimum protection settings. For our example, we'll leave the remaining fields in their default settings then click View Sample API Request to see the AS3 declaration JSON. Notice that BigIQ adds any necessary escape characters to the JSON so you don't have to. Click Create to create the application service. These are the applications owned by Paula. Unknown applications is created by default by the system and cannot be edited or deleted. Here's the app we just created. 
Here's the application service we just created. In our example, we also need to create a second application for the Seattle Big IP. Click Create to create a second application service inside of this application. Name the application service and select the target. We'll fast forward through the rest of the configuration. Here's our second application service. The alerts in the top section of the dashboard are an aggregation of data for all application services that comprise the application, your app. Click the back button to go up one level and view all of Paula's apps. Right now, your app is in good health and is protected by F5 Web Application Security Service. For our example, we'll generate some bad traffic on the back end to show how this looks on the Big IQ dashboard. Click an individual application service to view detailed traffic data. Here are a few alerts generated by Big IQ thanks to that bad traffic we generated. You can click in the dashboard to see further details and even take action right here. To learn more about the dashboard and other Big IQ features, see Learn F5, your hub for learning and training resources, f5.com, or search this YouTube channel.